So we're talking about activated wormwe, and I think this is this is one of those that those those um, secret things that just makes everything just come together, especially on Living Seeds Farm. There's nothing really secret about it. We didn't invent this. Um, somebody else. This is um, this is a recipe that I've taken from somebody, else and I actually can't even remember who I've taken it from. Um, and we've adapted it slightly. So what we have over here is a 1,000 liter water bowser. Um, we only use this water bowser for activated And the whole idea behind activated wormweed is, so the wormweed is, is leachate that comes out of a worm farm. It, it, it technically isn't wormweed because the worms don't wee, but it's the liquid that that, that leaches out of a worm farm when the worms break down organic matter. So we have a, 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 a barrel over here. It's a 50 liter barrel. It's about half full of worm leachate. Um, and it's the, the quantities are, are, are pretty much of a thumb suck. As long as you have um, the ingredients and they're in a, um, a relatively... Um, accessible portion so you don't want to be putting this is a thousand liter water bowser you don't want to put one liter of, of leachate inside here because what's going to happen is it's going to take so long for this to actually um, uh, create activated worm wee. so the leachate that that comes out of earthworms is it's chock 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 full of soil bacteria um, earthworms or at least composting worms their, their gut are little bacteria factories and um, the vermicasts it's one of the reasons why vermicasts are, are so good for soil or is so good for soil is because it's chock-a-block full of soil bacteria now the leachate as well also has soil bacteria so what we're doing over here we can use the leachate you can take the leachate uh, or the worm we use it undiluted you can dilute it and put it directly onto the soil and you're going to have fantastic results what we like to do is we like to activate it so basically what you want to do is you want to create a bacterial bloom or a bacterial super bloom and so what we do is we take the leachate we pour it into into the um, into the water bowser we use the the eco buzz start the start grow which contains a whole lot of bacteria as well which is just a different strain of soil bacteria we put a, a bottle of, of start grow inside here and then we take molasses and this is standard molasses that gets used to to feed um, to feed animals um, and we'll take about five liters so it's 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 in in it, it, in a 1,000 litre water bowser, we'll take approximately 5 litres of molasses, put it inside here, we'll take 25 litres of leachate. The reason why it's 25 litres is because I can pick it up. Okay, if it was 50 litres of leachate, um, I could probably still pick it up, but I'm going to mess all over myself when I'm trying to put it into the water bowser. Um, so it's about 25 litres of leachate, um, 5 litres of molasses, a bottle of start grow. And then most importantly, you need to have a fish whoopsie daisy. You need to have a fish tank pump. So we've taken a fish tank pump. This is a SIBO 12,000 fish tank pump. Um, it's got two outlets. We've taken both outlets, tied them together, and we have a long, a long run of of uh, of airline and this is one of those long air stones and we've weighted it down with with a large nut and we just drop that in so we we'll, we'll drop that in and that'll go down to the bottom of the of the of the water bowser this gets plugged in we normally have a um, I'll just plug it in right now anyway that gets plugged in and then we have one of these buckets and we put the bucket on top and we put a rock on top so that if it does rain the plug doesn't get wet the pump doesn't get wet nobody gets electrocuted or something or something silly like that um, and that's it and we allow it to brew so in summer it takes literally 48 hours two days and you will get a, a white foam that comes on on the surface so 
it's not bubbles it's 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 not even a white foam it's like a like a cappuccino mocha foam on top and if you smell it it smells like fermenting fruit and that is the smell that you are waiting for in that and that thick white foam as soon as you get that you need to use your um your activated worm wear and you need to use it basically within 12 hours it cannot be stored if you store it what happens is you'll have a bacterial crash because they will use up all of the food and they'll use up all of the oxygen that's in the activated worm wear and what will happen is all of the bacteria in in your liquid will just die and um it's it starts to smell off it literally it it, it, it smells disgusting it smells off and you don't want to be putting that onto your soil so you want to use it when it's ready you want to use it immediately and then what we do is it gets uh, we just have um, a whole lot of staff members with uh, with with watering cans and we will water the specific crop that needs to be watered and we will use activated worm we on every single crop on living seeds farm um, you pour it directly onto the soil the cool thing is you will see a response in the plants within 24 hours. If you have a look at the plant, you water the plant today, tomorrow morning you come out and you have a look at that plant, the plant will look different. Okay, It looks more vibrant, the plant is shinier, it seems to stand up better, um, the color of the plant changes. Um, that is how amazing this activated worm wee is. And it's bacteria that you're putting into your soil. And that bacteria, it just goes to work inside the soil um, and it does what bacteria does inside the soil, which is basically improve your soil.